friends, my name is Marie. Welcome to my YouTube channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. I like events, I like cooking, I like cultural happenings, and I live in New York. I'd love if you go on the adventure with me. Please like and subscribe if you want more content. Hi, here's the kitchen with everything set up. The wine, the strawberries, the shrimp, the salmon, the pans that I'll be using. So with the seafood, I put lemon on first and then I'm going to rinse it with cold water. I usually like to uh, prepare the fish the night before, just means seasoning, let it sit overnight, let all the flavors get in. But I needed to show you how it's done. So here it is, rinse with cold water, drain. And I'm starting with the shrimp, hot sauce, salt, pepper. I'm going to put some oregano, some red chili flakes. And there's a special seasoning that I make that I put in and that will be in the description box below. So all that is going on that garlic shrimp. Here's that special seasoning. All you need is a dollop. It's gonna add some spice, some heat to that garlic shrimp. We're gonna stir, make sure the seasoning is on all the shrimp and then I'm going to set it aside. Next is the salmon. I want the skin crispy, so I'm going to have to pat it dry. I just pat it dry with paper towels, get the moisture out, and then I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to run it along the skin to get the moisture out. You can see liquid at the end um, because I like the skin crispy. Um, then I do that, a nice thick cut of filet, um, it makes the cooking better. I've started to season with salt and pepper, and it's kosher salt, so it's very salty, so I'm just sprinkling it in my hand so I can see the amount that's going in. And I'm going to also uh, poke holes into the salmon to make sure that the seasoning goes in. And it also helps with the having it cook all the way through. And I only use one other ingredient and that's uh, Paul Poudon's Magic Salmon Seasoning. It's an ovi, but a goodie. And those are the three ingredients for the salmon. And then I'm setting that aside. Make sure it's top and bottom all around. And next I'm getting the garlic because I'm going to make the garlic butter, which consists of the garlic, garlic paste, olive oil, and butter. And I put that in the microwave and melt it down. And oregano, I think I said that. And as that's melting down in the microwave, I'm going to get a nice, uh, Italian bread and cut it and place that in the baking uh, dish. So here's the bread, it's ready. My garlic butter is ready and I'm going to brush them on each slice. Try to get as much coverage as possible. And after I'm done, it still doesn't look like enough to me so I'm going to chop up more garlic, um, drizzle on more olive oil and put a little more butter on each because I want it to get a nice even tone and I, I want it all to I want it to be tasty in every bite and I'm going to place that in the oven while I cook the salmon. I get the salmon ready. So, oh, I'm sorry, the shrimp. So, uh, olive oil and butter again with garlic, fresh garlic, and uh, the pickled red pepper, and some garlic paste. And there's the shrimp I'm going to saute till it's pink 
and you'll see me then add some tomato basil that's the red chili, uh, chili pepper pickled red chili pepper that I've added here's the uh, tomato basil paste that gives it some flavor and color and then I'm going to put that a cup of wine in, in there and let it simmer a little bit at this point the bread is smelling wonderful and I'm going to put it in the boiler yes this is an old stove an old gas stove that I love um, and it works so here it is all nice and toast and crispy and I'm going to plate it so that I could put it on the cocktail table with the hors d'oeuvres and napkins, forks, and plates are out there already for my guests. And here it is. Oh, it smells so good. It's a favorite. Now I'm using my iron skillet. I love that skillet. It's, uh, it evenly heats and it goes from stove top to oven very easily. I'm putting the salmon in, uh, pink part down, and I'm going to try to get it some color on all sides. So that means, you know, kind of sauteing each side. And then I'm going to put a sprig of uh, rosemary under each, uh, each piece. And from there, the salmon is going to be drizzled on top with olive oil, and that is also going in the boiler. Next, I'm doing the potatoes. Now, the potatoes, you'll definitely need to look in the description below for all the ingredients. So that's water boiling for the asparagus, and that's the uh, cooking dish that I will be using for the potatoes. And in the potatoes, we're going to put shallots, we're going to put scallions, we're going to put the red uh, uh, chili uh, pepper in there, we're going to put hot sauce, oregano, uh, black pepper, salt, um, all in there, and butter. And uh, the potato is ready when you can put a knife easily through it. And I'm going to scoop out the potatoes and put it in the pan. I'm going to keep about a cup and a half of the water and I'm going to then put in uh, evaporated milk, butter and um, four ounces of cream cheese in that water, stir that up and get it a little thick and then put in Parmesan cheese and Pecorino Romano on top of the potatoes. Put the pour that on and pour put some uh, progresso breadcrumbs and that goes in the oven and voila happy eating